Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Jane Frances de Chantal, whose feast day is August 12th, this Saturday. Jane was born on January 28, 1572, in the town of Dijon, France. Her parents were wealthy, but her mother died when she was 18 months old. Her father took over her education, and she grew into a beautiful, refined woman with a, lo- with a lively and cheerful personality. At 21, she married the Baron de Chantal and moved to the feudal castle of Borbilly. Unfortunately, Jane's new husband was deep in debt, and, ho- and his household was in disarray. Jane quickly took charge and masterfully managed the estate, solving her fin- their financial problems and winning the hearts of her servants and employees. The new Baroness's faith was clearly evident as well. She restored the custom of daily mass and regularly gave food to the poor and needy. She and her husband, Christophe, were deeply devoted to one another, and she bore him six children, although their first, although their first two died in infancy. Sadly, in 1601, Christophe was killed in an accident while hunting, and Jane was left a widow at the young age of 28. For four months, she was deeply heartbroken, and she took a vow of chastity. Soon after Christophe's death, her father, his father demanded that Jane and her children come to live at his home, or else he would disinherit them. Her father-in-law was not a kind man, and neither was his housekeeper. For seven years, Jane bore their difficulties and ill with w- ill will with patience. In 1604, Jane had returned to Dijon to visit her father and met Francis de Sales, the Bishop of Geneva, who was preaching there. The two quickly became friends, and Francis became Jane's spiritual director. Jane told him of her desire to become a nun, but Francis dissuaded her from that path. She obeyed her director and vowed to remain unmarried. Three years after they met, Francis told Jane of his plan to start a religious order for women who were too old or too weak to enter other already established communities. These sisters would not be cloistered, and they would perform the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Together, Jane and Francis established the Congregation of the Visitation in Ancy, France, on June, June 6, 1610. For the first eight years, the congregation did well, but much of the religious community at the time was opposed to women taking part in active ministry. Francis was thus obliged to make the order cloistered, following the rule of St. Augustine. Jane spent the rest of her life in the cloister, practicing unquenchable virtue. She had many trials left to bear. Francis died, her son was killed in battle, a plague ravaged France, and her daughter-in-law and son-in-law died. On top of all that, she went through a great period of spiritual dryness for the last nine years of her life, which did not let up until three months before her death. In spite of all those things, Jane remained a shining role model of sanctity. In 1641, during a visitation of the different convents of her community, Jane passed away at the age of 69. Her body is incorrupt, and she is buried at the Church of the Visitation in Ansi. She is a patron saint of forgotten people, in-law problems, loss of parents, parents separated from children, and widows. Jane was a woman of deep love and devotion to God, while also being a practical, firm mother and baroness. She had a gentle and loving approach to spirituality, believing firmly in the infinite mercy of God. She expressed her beliefs by how she lived her life, a life of charity and forgiveness. St. Jane Francis de Chantal, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are St. Sixtus II and Companions, St. Cageton, St. Dominic, St. Teresa of Benedicta of the Cross, St. Lawrence, and St. Clair of Assisi. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of St. Louis. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace be to you.